Greetings everyone, this is some shy guy and I haven't read something in a while but I'm going to try it again because surely people enjoy my narrations. Wink wink. Anyway, I've been reading RPG horror stories for a while and I wanted to try and do my own narration of one. This was sent to me by a friend who wishes to remain anonymous because of the rabid fanbase that we'll be talking about today. Today's story is how D&D and a four month friendship ended because of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yep, that's right. This ought to be good. Like the title says, I was friends with Henry for about four months. I had our friends, but they weren't in the Dungeons and Dragons like I was. I wanted to find a D&D &D group. I did some searching around, which is how I met Henry. Henry wanted to be DM. He had two friends I didn't know well, but we all got along at first. I also showed interest in DMing, but Henry's friends decided that Henry should be the one to run the game. I wasn't bitter about it and agreed to loan out my books, which was the recent release Tales of the Old Margrave and Tome of Beasts both of which were made by Kobolds Press and are pretty enjoyable. We did a few sessions and Henry could only play every other week, which was understandable. We played at least two times a month. We had lots of fun and I could see that Henry wanted to learn to be a DM. He was new to it and said he wanted to improve. It was a relaxed group, though his friends were a bit on the annoying side. For example, they blurred out random memes in game and they would even repeat them. However, besides that, they didn't do anything that was harmful that would ruin games like in our stories. Then Henry buys a gift for me. It's completely out of nowhere and I'm surprised that he would spend that much. It was a copy of Pokemon Sword. I couldn't thank him enough for this gift. I like Pokemon. I played most of the mainline titles. but. In all honesty, I had doubts about Sword and Shield because I didn't like the direction it was going in. To avoid much, too much detail, it had its controversies, but I wasn't about to act ungrateful and was willing to give it a shot. To make a long story short, the game was alright. It played like a Pokemon game, but it was the weakest in the whole series. The story sucked, the characters were bad. There were only a few dungeons which were all linear, and the main antagonist was awful. There was also a lack of content. Within two weeks, I lost interest in Sword and Shield because I wasn't enjoying it as much. I only finished it within a few days and only kept playing to do co-op. One major issue I had with Henry is that he would pester me to play the game with him and it would take five to six hours each session in the hopes of finding a shiny Pokemon. I was getting bored by this point and I was tired of doing the same thing and felt like I was about to burn out. It was worse though. Whenever I was busy, Henry would still pester me to play with him and whenever I told him that I was doing something else, he asked me what. Looking back at this, I shouldn't have to explain everything I'm doing because it's just a breach of privacy in my opinion and that's where he was trying to go at. After a while, I finally told Henry that I was ready to move on to other things and that I was done playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. Saying this started a ticking time bomb that was going to blow up the four month friendship we had. Henry starts changing his behavior. He asks if I actually like the game and wanted my honest opinion on it. Well, he asked, so I delivered. I told him that it was the weakest Pokemon game so far, which was my biggest mistake. Henry goes from being a nice guy to getting upset and he starts accusing me of watching videos that attacked Sword and Shield. He even says that I'm acting like a Gen 1-er and a Spurg on top of that. I tried to explain to him that I didn't dislike the game entirely, but in Henry's mind, you either liked the game or you hated it. There was no middle ground with him, and to be honest, I felt bad for even telling him the truth. 
but at the same time, for him to get this upset, it was starting to concern me. He even tells me that I'm ungrateful, but I decide I need to calm him down. I tell Henry I'm sorry and feel bad because he spent money on this for me, which I never expected in the first place. I simply give him back the game and tell him that it should be easy to sell to someone as it was still a new game at the time. We also talk about never buying gifts for each other again, and that should have resolved everything. It did not. I show up for another D&D session at Henry's place, and it turns out he wasn't over the Pokemon incident. Henry is surprised I even showed up, and I find out that he told his buddies that I was ungrateful for the gift. I was called a spoiled brat, among other things. I was pissed. I try to explain that's all a lie, but because they're Henry's friends, they believe Henry and think it's true. At this point, my professionalism is thrown out the window and I start to show first signs of anger. We got into a verbal argument and Henry tells me to leave and not show up for future sessions. In a fit of spite, I said sure, I'm okay with that, but tell Henry that I'm taking my books back that I loaned him. He had the audacity to tell me that I would get them back when the campaign was over. No, you don't understand. If you're going to be this upset over a stupid game that you're willing to kick me out of your campaign, I'm not letting you borrow my books anymore. Henry stands up. He walks over towards me and shoves me. That was it. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. I shove him back with full force and watch as he hits the gaming table. I did not care. His friends are shocked by this and I grab my things and walk out. As I do so, Henry starts screaming at me, saying that he was going to call the cops. I ignore him and drive home. I was a bit worried. If Henry did carry out this threat, he would probably lie about his side of the story. His friends, being his yes-men, would back him up as well, which was very concerning. Weirdly enough, the authorities never showed up at my door. Henry was probably scared to go through with it because if police found the actual truth out, he would also get into trouble since he had initially started the fight by shoving me. I call my friends and tell them about the whole incident, and they start laughing and find it hard to believe that Henry would go to such lengths over a mediocre game. I also blocked Henry from all platforms, but unfortunately I still live close to him, and the worst part is, he knows where I live. Now I know this is paranoia, but I lock everything before I leave my house. I know that Henry is bitter towards all of this, but I try not to let it get to me too much. It's been a little over five months since this all occurred, and nothing else has happened with him, but I can't get over it. He threw this temper tantrum over a video game that I didn't even hate entirely. Thanks to Henry, that game can now go fuck right off. And post. Wow. It's pretty sad, but fanboys can be completely insane. It isn't out of the ordinary for a fan to go so crazy because you don't like a game that they do. I honestly feel sorry for OP for finding out the hard way that Pokemon fans are completely insane and will try and defend a game no matter how flawed it is. Now personally, I'm not the biggest fan of Sword and Shield myself. I think that I agree with this. It is the weakest game in the series, and is very heavily flawed as well.